Moses seizes the fire. He comes to it. He doesn't want to put the fire out and he doesn't want to avoid or ignore or avoid the fire. He comes to it and something happens. The voice comes from the fire and the voice calls him in and says, come. It's interesting that before God said go, God said come. Our vision is go, but the power is in come. Our vision is the Great Commission. Go into all the world. But the power for that vision is in the Great Commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul and all your might. We must understand that the vision has to marry the devotion. We must understand the go must be united with the come. God doesn't send us to go if he doesn't invite us first to come. God wants to invite us first to himself before he sends us to represent himself. Our mission as a church of Jesus Christ is to make God known. But our assignment is to know him. Because we can't make someone known whom we don't know. We can't have a successful great commission if we are poor at fulfilling a great command. You cannot have a great compassion for the lost if you don't have a great passion for the one who searches them out. And that's where God brings Moses. He says, Moses, come before he tells him go. God invites us. Our mission as a church is to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. It's a privilege to do that. You must understand, we are not meant to do life alone. It's fascinating, when Satan fell from heaven, he didn't fall alone. He took his friends with him. A lot of people actually. When you see Eve sinning, Eve didn't just eat sin like many people sin today. You know, they just hit it, nobody knows about it. No, Eve invited the only human that was alive, Adam. And says, Adam, I sinned and so will you. Join the club. It's fascinating that it's a human tendency to sin in a group. The statistic says that on average a person who smokes weed will introduce 13 other people to weed every single year. And I have not found one school, class or seminary where potheads are encouraged to spread the gospel of weed. You know how they spread weed? They get high. And when you get high and you like it, then you go and you get other people high. That's exactly what the camp, there is, there is no teaching. What people do is they simply try it and only then they sell it. Nobody pays them. They do it, why? Because they did it on their own. Now weed is not the gospel. Weed is, that's the stuff that destroys people. But, but the gospel, when you try it first, when it touches your life and then you go and you spread it for the glory of God. When you see Jesus casting out demons and the demons constantly, demons are the best evangelists. Demons. We're so, demons were the first people to recognize Jesus was God. It's kind of sad when people with theology, people with God experience, people with the Bible, people with Torah couldn't see who Jesus was and they thought he was blasphemy. And these wicked poor demons screaming, he is the son of God. And Jesus never allowed them to tell people who he was. I think I know why. Because the privilege to tell who Jesus is, is not belonging to demons. It belongs to God's children. God does not want demons to tell who he is. God wants you and I to tell who he is. God says this is a precious gospel and I don't want these pigs, these swine, these demons, these evil creatures who are going to hell to tell about my gospel. This gospel is going to be preached by those who've been redeemed, sanctified and whose lives been completely changed by it. Can somebody say hallelujah? And so come, go. Our vision in our church is not just to preach the gospel, but also to spend time with Holy Spirit. Come. And if we want to be effective in bringing people to Jesus, we have to become more effective in bringing ourselves to Him.